Today, we're going to be checking out some horror-themed coffee shops. We're gonna be going to Roast the Dead Coffee, Horror Vibes Coffee, and Coffeinated Coffee. These are all in California. I'm so excited. I've seen so many videos and pictures of these coffee shops online and they look so cool. They look like a spirit Halloween just threw up inside of all of them. So let's go check out the first one, which is Roast the Dead Coffee. Right away, walking in here was like walking inside of a haunt, a Halloween Horror Nights or something. It was so, so cool. I have to say, Roast the Dead Coffee was probably my favorite coffee shop out of all three. The vibe inside of here was just unmatched. And I really liked that they had horror movies playing. They had The Shining playing when we walked in. This little corner of the coffee shop was my favorite, with the Michael Myers house and Exorcist. Jason, Freddy, like there was just so much to look at. I could spend hours inside of here. And I did, I probably spent about an hour in here just taking it all in. And I really liked that they had the Twilight Zone playing, one of my favorite shows. I got the Lugosi drink, which was a strawberry lemonade and it was delicious. I cannot wait to come back to Roast the Dead Coffee. And of course, we have the icons on the outside. Okay, next we're going to be heading to Horror Vibes Coffee. This is the one that really got me interested in checking these coffee shops out. This one is in North Hollywood, so let's head over to Horror Vibes Coffee. It was super packed in here this day, but I still got to take in the vibes of Horror Vibes Coffee. Right away we have Nosferatu and Terrifier in a Christmas variation, which is interesting because Terrifier 3 is going to be Christmas themed. I really liked the murals inside of this coffee shop. Their menu was very extensive and it looked really, really cool with all the different fonts and the names based on horror movies and characters. I saw some really cool looking drinks they had with like blood dripping down the sides. So I got the Reaper's Mercy. It's a vanilla cream cold brew with espresso. So good. If you like like the sweet cream cold brew drink at Starbucks, you're gonna love this. It's so good. This is actually better than the one at Starbucks to me. Mm. Love it. I also got the Gordy's Home. It's a uh, has banana cream in it. Like, mm. this one's so good as well. Okay, the final coffee shop on our list is Coffeinated Coffee. This one is in La Puente, California. So let's go check it out. All right, so right now I'm heading to the next spot, Coffeinated Coffee. I'm super excited to check this one out because from what I've seen, they have Art the Clown in there. Let's go. Right away, we're greeted by Reagan out front. This one was so cool. I really liked the checkerboard floor and the orange walls and all of the things they had to look at. It was really cool. I could spend so long in here just checking everything out. I liked that they had Glenn and Georgie. Really, really cool. Jigsaw. Then we have Sam from Trick or Treat. Of course, we have Chucky and Tiffany sitting pretty together. The drink that I got from here was so good. I just got a classic pumpkin spice. We did see Art the Clown, but he was busy at the moment. 
And now I'm adding in a bonus location, which is Sliced Pizza in Las Vegas, Nevada. This isn't a coffee shop, it's a pizzeria, but it's horror-themed. And we were greeted by Art the Clown right upon entry. This was one of my favorite spots by far. The theming in here, the lighting, the ceiling, the neon signs, everything. The hallway that led to their restrooms was so cool. It had this really cool red lighting with these cross walls, and the restroom had a huge 666 neon sign inside of there. I didn't get a video of it, but just trust me, if you go there, check it out. They had a lot of really cool old video games and an old Zoltar machine that was going off right next to me while I was eating my pizza. They have a really cool black pizza. The whole pie is black. You might think it's burnt. It's not. The pie is just black. It's called a murder pie. It's really cool. Their pizza was to die for, by the way. And then they had this really cool little seance room off to the side. just makes me want to sit down and get my palm read. I definitely have to come back to Slice Pizza next time I'm in Vegas. Let me know if you have any more recommendations of horror-themed places I should check out in the comments. See you guys next time.